Reform has from its inception been a thoughtful, intellectual, and rational expression of Judaism. But especially in its early history, Reform Judaism may have de-emphasized our emotional and spiritual roots. No longer. No matter how difficult it may be for some of us to speak of spiritual search and journey, or to wrestle openly with matters of belief or experience of the sacred, our best congregations are places where we can engage those issues. Places where we, in the words of uh, Rabbi Alex Schindler 30 years ago in his biennial sermon, places where we shore up our inner life, where we create relationships and emotional connections. Our best congregations are places of peace and comfort, Homes we enter where there is joy to be shared, when we want to resonate to music that stirs our souls, or hear words to inspire us or heal our wounds, when we want to unite to live our values and pass them on. One forward columnist, himself not exactly turned on by institutional Judaism, wrote this recently. But I find when my mind is quiet enough to let the rest of me be truthful with itself, that the movements and notes of religion cause me to be more loving, more compassionate, and more insistent upon justice. He then said, and I'm sure he wasn't talking about us, I don't believe the nonsense that our religion often spreads about God, Torah, and Israel. But he concludes, I found that there is something deeper than belief. It is in our synagogues that those movements and notes of religion are seen and heard most clearly. And it is in our synagogues that something deeper than belief is forged. But maybe one story in closing. Three years ago, my younger brother, Danny, a beloved, respective, compassionate, funny, iconoclastic, and maybe slightly mashuga, a pediatrician, died suddenly and quite unexpectedly. If they work at it for a while, pediatricians like rabbis, cantors, educators, camp directors, touch thousands of lives, parents, children, their children. My brother did, and hundreds attended his funeral in Shiva. We invited people to share stories about Danny during the Shiva Minyanim. One, moment, one woman, moved by the service and by the stories, came to me afterward and said, I want you to know that Dan made me a better mother. And tears in her eyes, she continued, more important, Dan made me a better human being. Isn't that what our congregations are ultimately about? They're communities where each of us can live our Jewish journey and become better human beings, where we can help each other become better human beings, and where in connecting with each other, we connect with the sacred. I will be forever grateful for the opportunity to serve this movement, and I hope to make a difference. My thanks to all who have made these four years so exciting, productive, and rich with accomplishment. As a final point of personal privilege, a too brief public word of thanks to my wife, Amy. You know, I, I joke that uh, as Amy and I walked back up the aisle uh, from under the chuppah, she turned to me lovingly and said, sweetheart, you and I have just become one, and I am that one. <laughs> the reality over these last four years and more has been quite different. I think if anybody has been that one, it has been me. Uh, since I courted the most beautiful girl at Eisner 45 years ago, she has been my partner sharing whatever life has offered us, including the wonderful journey of these past four years. And she has been a creative contributor to so much that we have achieved. Amy, would you stand up, please? As I conclude this remarkable chapter in my life, mindful of how much I have been strengthened and blessed by the opportunity to serve this union. I think of the blessing we recite each time we conclude a book of the Torah. Chazak, chazak, v'ni chazak. Be strong, be strong, and let us strengthen one another. Let us go forth from here strong and strengthening one another. 
in our commitment to a Judaism that is dynamic, resilient, and ready to renew itself. A Judaism that engages our intellect and stirs our souls. May we be inspired to demonstrate the courage of our convictions, to speak truth to power, to pursue peace and seek justice, to care about our fellows even though we see their flaws, flaws and ours, and to hope and pray that the world will get better because in our own small way, we are doing what we can to make it better. Kane Yaki Ratzon.